we will now move on to the setup guide for TIG welding using the Viper 185. First of all, let's plug our machine into our 10 amp power point and organise a suitable PPE. Step 1, polarity. To start, we need to connect our TIG torch into our negative panel mount socket and our earth clamp into the positive panel mount socket. This makes our setup DC electrode negative. Step 2, gas connection. This is the flow meter we're using. Now we're going to connect our flow meter regulator to our gas bottle and tighten using a spanner. This is pure argon gas, ideal for TIG welding. The next step is to attach the other end of the gas hose to the regulator and tighten once again with a spanner. Step three, basic setup. Firstly, make sure your selector switch on the front panel is switched to TIG. Amps will be your only controllable parameter on this process We'll be welding 5mm mild steel, so we'll be turning it to 110 amps. Step 4, torch setup. We will be using the 17V 4M CP50 Lift Arc T Torch with these consumables. To attach these consumables, firstly screw in the collar body, screw the gas shroud, slide in the collet followed by the tungsten electrode. And finally, screw on the back cap to lock it all into place. Step five, tungsten electrodes. There are three commonly used electrodes for this process. The purple T3, the gray tip seriated, and the gold tip lanthanated. We will be using the gold tip lanthanated as it's more versatile and has better arc characteristics. Also, make sure your tungsten is sharpened to a point using a bench grinder. Step 6 TIG welding. Now that you have set your parameters, it's time to turn your gas on to around 8 to 10 litres per minute and attach your earth clamp to your workpiece. You are now ready to weld. Making sure to turn the gas valve clockwise on the torch to initiate the gas prior to striking the arc. And again, turning it off when finished welding. 